Hey everyone, Dave here. Welcome to Strike Rush Overview. At this point we have a couple hero multiplayer action games, but it doesn't seem like any has landed though, because every single one is kind of missing in terms of features. And from my findings, it doesn't seem like people care really, because the matches are like empty or you can't even get in. It's kind of crazy that you release a game in a state that no one's playing now, so who will in the future? <laughs> So Stray Crash is a team-based shooter action game where you'll engage in the ultimate battle sports event of the 22nd century that redefines multiplayer gaming with an addition of big mechanical machines to operate and a small sidekicks to aid you in the gun-to-gun -gun combat. The devs are using a lot of fancy words that I'm not sure if they're like very prevalent in game. Cutting edge gameplay, not necessarily, it's pretty basic and very easy to understand. Unparalleled competitive experience, I mean, I've not met anyone. <laughs> you can't even get into the matches if no one's playing, like there's no bot system or anything of the sort. In-depth customization, I mean, also not necessarily, at least not with the settings or the gameplay because it's relatively simple and in terms of the reloading at least, you just press buttons, there's no movement involved whatsoever. You can't eject your magazine earlier to reload as well. The actual action is when you run out of ammo, you press the same button that you shoot, the new magazine slides in and you continue like nothing happened. So it's probably the most simplest system I've ever seen. As a concept that's rather known at this point, there are some new stuff going on. You can mount certain mechs to bring a total mayhem to the battlefield and shoot everything that's inside, as well as every hero per se has its own pet that aids you in the gameplay, whether aggressively or healing your allies. Visual department is not bad as well, like resolutions seem to be fine, the textures for a competitive multiplayer genre it's pretty much sufficient. So as a total package the project has a very good base to expand with future updates if the devs will care enough. I feel like it's very much comparable with X8, although both have different price points. So it's kind of like on the quest platform we have a lot of split up in the community. What game to play based on your personal preferences. Nowadays I'm not necessarily interested by stuff like that, but it's nice to see that some groups are still keen to go in that direction after like last night not fiasco, but it's a genre that is not necessarily that popular on VR in comparison to the pancake. Let's go to the gameplay. Hello. Welcome to the Strike Rush Battle Simulation Room. This room is designed to simulate a real battlefield. I will guide you through the basic controls you need to achieve victory. Move your head to look around. <laughs> Good. You can change your point of view by moving the right stick left or right without moving your head. Turn your head and look at the mark. Well, I would like to access the settings. Maybe later. Well done. Now, let's move to pick up a weapon. Please move to the location indicated on the screen. Use the left stick to move. The commotion is kind of faster than normal, but... Pretty doable. Grab the weapon in front of you. Reach out with your hand and press the grab button to pick up the weapon. Releasing the grab button will make the weapon disappear. And holding down the grab button again will make the weapon reappear. Now, let's move to the capture zone. Follow the Blitzmom. Blitzmom? Press the left stick like a button to jump. Use this when jumping over low obstacles. Press the right button A to warp. Use this for quick dashes, or to quickly retreat. Well, I can't hold it with both of my arms. No, I can. 
but the connection is kind of weird placed. Interestingly, like on the base level of your vision, the detail work is pretty fun. But then, the higher you look, the worse it gets. Which I mean, is a good trade-off, I guess. It's like some blurriness going on, but it's not that bad, really. There is some nice ambience. What is it loading to? <laughs> okay then. Whoops. <laughs> There does not seem to be an access to settings yet. The white square you see up ahead is the capture zone. Occupy the zone for 5 seconds to capture it. When your team captures a zone, it will turn blue. If your enemies capture a zone, it will turn red. If the capture zone is red, you can reoccupy it for 5 seconds to recapture the zone. Please refer to the scoreboard at the top for the current score of the game. Your team score is displayed on the left, and when a team reaches 150 points, they win. Now, let's move up ahead and capture the zone. The group doesn't really make sense because you let it go automatically if you're too far. An enemy has appeared. Pull out your weapon to eliminate the enemy. Oh, you're so offensive. <laughs> and it's not like the recoil is huge, so there is no point. That's very automatic, like you just press shot triggers in between. Spectacular. You have a knack for shooting. Now, let's capture the point. Like you literally just press and that's it. I don't know if that really makes sense to me. Attempting you must to remain capture. inside the zone to complete the capture. When a capture is complete, capture the zone. capture gauge will continue to increase even without anyone remaining in it. Move to a location with a barricade to fend off enemies who are trying to capture your zone. Each blitzer has their own unique set of skills. The skill button <laughs> is the B button on the right controller. Violet can use shield to engage in more favorable combat situations against enemies. When facing multiple enemies, you can utilize your blitz mod. While holding the gun with both hands, press the trigger of the hand you're using to hold the gun to select an enemy. The blitz mod will actively attack the chosen enemy. To stop the blitz mod and call it back, Press the trigger of the hand without the gun, and bring it towards your mouth. What? <laughs> An ally Colossus has been summoned. The Colossus will be summoned over time, and capturing zones or eliminating enemies speed up its summoning. Let's move to the Colossus. Follow the Blitzmon. It's like the pronunciation of this is Blitz Mom. Oh, I mounted. The aim of a 
Colossus is based on the head movement of the player. Holding down the left trigger continuously will fire plasma rounds, unleashing powerful explosive projectiles that deal significant damage to the surrounding area. Oh my god. Holding down the right trigger will activate the Gatling gun. Be careful, as the gun will overheat while using it. Controlling a Colossus is similar to controlling a Blitzer. Use the stick to move to the capture point. Enemies are closing in. Until round Eliminate three. the enemies with your Colossus. When there are too many enemies, you can use skills to help sweep them away. Hold the B button to set the range. Then release the B e button to activate it. You did well. Once the team capture gauge reaches 150 points, you will win this match. Now, see you in the real matches. Best of luck to you. Okay. <laughs> this seems to be a lot going on, but it's kind of straightforward and things are rather polished. Do we have settings here? For some reason I can't change the camera settings. Why? Like, doesn't make much sense. But also, the matchmaking doesn't seem to be working. If no one's playing or I don't know, I'll try a couple times and if not then I'll just move on to single stuff. Five, four, three, two, one. Starting mission. I had to go to the mission. Who am I? Jesus! See, that's what I'm talking about, like, the hand lets go immediately. And I can't, like, reload earlier. Sound effects are crazy. Do we have something else? Like skills? Let's carry. Exiting mission. Mission failed. Okay, well, they exploded on my ass. Five, four, three, two, one. Starting mission. Yeah, my accuracy. Oh, there's an indicator. I suppose it's some sort of a challenges.
Which is not necessarily what I was looking for, but... There's nothing else happening, really. I'll try to much make more. Alright, well, it doesn't seem like to be working, or no one's playing, like... Could be anything. It's hard to really judge it when you can't try it out in the actual matches. But in terms of the gunplay... It seems accurate, but... I would like more freedom. <laughs> Meaning... Manual reloading... Or button one, at least, with early magazine dropout. Taking stuff with two hands makes no sense. Of course, the recoil is slower. But the hand just goes off the weapon. And that will like happen consistently in the matches. And for small weapons, it's not like you actually need it. I don't even know what's happening with those mons skills. I only used one in the tutorial, like... Essentially, tutorial was the main event. Outside of it, nothing really happened. Visually, I think it's rather solid. In far off distance, there might be some resolution problems, but... Overall, it's a decent project with a strong base to build on top of it. So I think the future is rather bright for it if the developers will care and update it consistently. It's just that I wish I would play actual matches. There is no AI or bots going on because if yes, then I would already see that. In the customized section, you have those pairs pretty much. You can choose your skins and I suppose actually read what they do, which is nice. <laughs> I don't know, I think overall something good is going on. It just needs a player base or actually boss to play with, because without it the game is kind of dead, as I realized.